What's up? It's your boy TNT. Hey, the gay guys. I got this beautiful uh, reserve Angus beef uh, from my local grocery store. It, this is the filet mignon. This is a, a, a probably a half of a, a a loin, beef loin, filet mignon. So I'm gonna be cooking this up for y'all guys. This is great meat. The marbling looks excellent. I'm gonna uh, show you how we're gonna do this. We're not going to grill with this. This is gonna be steak. So let's go to butchering. Hey, and guys, look at look at this guys. TNT barbecue apron. TNT shirt. Link will be down below. I have a link down below, guys. Man, get you some TNT apparel, man. Tenderloin here. And you can see it. It looks like a nice uh, loin, half of a loin. So this is Black Angus. So I'm gonna, I want to take the silver skin off because we're not going to eat on the silver skin. So I'm going to go up under that silver skin, press through, and I want to get all that off. Keep your knife slanted upwards. So you can take silver skin off, not meat. All right, and you want to just go ahead and just keep your knife facing kind of slanted up. And you want to just follow that silver skin, take the silver skin right on off. All right. So if you can see it, that's tough, man. All right. So I like, you know, um, I'm just kind of got. I want to have a good finished product, so that's why I'm trying to show you how to do this. You see all that silver skin, nobody want to eat that, so take that silver skin off. And you want to start with a sharp knife, guys. That's 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 the key to uh, doing this. I want to take off some of that fat. Anything that's a male brain, resembling a male brain, that's the goal. And I'm going to, this right here, I'm going to just go ahead and separate that there. Because since, since that looks like it want to separate. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with this right here. I want to go ahead and anything that's, you see it there? And, yep, yeah, so you don't want to eat on that, man. Take all that off. Pay a lot of money for this stuff, but you want to make sure when you spoil yourself, you want to make sure you spoil yourself. You want to take care of your food because you got to eat it. Or your customers got to eat it or whatever. Get to cutting steaks, all right? So my steak's pretty thick, so I want to go probably three fingers on my steak, okay? Three fingers. So I'm going to go here, have a steak there, three fingers here. Nobody wants a uh, <laughs> wavy strain. So remember, you're cooking a good steak, so you want to make sure you got enough strain, uh, butcher twine, so you can... You want to kind of shape it into what you want it, like a nice, beautiful fillet. So you want to kind of get your string. You want to tie it. You want to kind of tie a couple knots in it, a couple loops. And, you, and I like to uh, cinch it in the back where the gap is at. So you want to go ahead and tie it up. All right, and you want to cut the string. All right, so that's one. You want to do another one. I think we should do another one. Spend all this money. You might as well do it right, guys. I'm going to do another one. And I try to keep my knots in the same place. Let me see. The bottom's kind of spread out, so I want that bottom to come together. Well, I don't want to do three. I think two will be enough. But I want to do it at the bottom. So you kind of want to do the same thing. 
one loop, two loops. I'll go right at the bottom, kind of make sure you strain it straight. You want to tie a knot. Okay. Then you want to use your knife to cut uniformly. So you got to make sure that uh, everything cook and it's be uniformed toward, toward, for uh, an even cooking process, if that makes sense. Yeah, see, I didn't do that like I supposed to. Make sure that got everything in there. Tie a knot. Sometimes I wish I didn't have these big old hands. <laughs> Tie a knot in the same spot, okay? All right, I think this is what we looking like, guys. What we're gonna do is go on with a uh, a special ingredient, and we're gonna do these dry brining. So we're gonna add salt to these, okay? Not too much, though. We want to make sure that we add just a little bit of salt to these right here, okay? So just a little bit of salt all over them, and this is called dry brining. Your meat. You want to make sure you dry brine and you don't want to add a lot of salt, just a little bit. And use kosher salt, no table salt, guys, okay? All right. So, yep, that's how you want to do it. Duh. Okay. You don't want to add too much salt to these right here. All right, guys, so before we go to the stove, I got some bacon rendering for the green beans. I'm going to do a nice plate today. Okay, but I am going to bring you in how I make my sauce, okay? So, for my sauce, uh, we're going to start with this, uh, this ghee, clarified butter, mixed with some extra virgin olive oil. And to that, we're going to add some capers, some thyme, some rosemary, some 16 match black pepper, and some granulated garlic, okay? To our mushrooms. So, what well, we're gonna sit the steak off first, and we're gonna bring y'all in while we make our sauce, okay? So, next shot you'll see, we'll probably get the stove searing the steak off, all right? And uh, I'm gonna wait till pretty much the green beans and things that need to get done. But I want the steak and the uh, um, potatoes and all that stuff to get done at the same time, all right? So, uh, the steaks are resting. I'm gonna show you how these steaks look, you guys. The steaks has turned a nice red color and they look fantastic, okay? So we're not gonna saw no more. Salt, salt is soaked in, so we're gonna get ready to see these off. All right, guys, so I got a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And to the extra virgin olive oil, I'm gonna add the ghee we was talking about. Clarified butter, guys, the ghee. Don't add that into that though. And this is for our uh, sear mistakes off, okay? All right, so I want to sear mistakes off with some extra virgin olive oil and some clarified butter. So I want to get this a little bit out right here. All right, it's been in the refrigerator, so yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna let that melt down. I got my temperature on pretty high. I want to make sure that goes to a real hot smoking temperature. I want a nice sear on my steaks, okay? That, that is very important. All right, guys. So I, I pan it super hot, and I want to go in with the steaks, okay? And remember, we haven't put nothing on these steaks but salt, okay? You want a real nice crust build up. A real... Nice crust. Beautiful new steak. I'm just gonna go down my hair. And yeah, so we're gonna get these steaks cooked for uh, a 
a minute and a half per side. The thick ones, I'm gonna go two minutes, okay? We'll bring it back. And uh, yeah, you see that? That's called a Menard effect. And that's why I'm trying to get that crust. So I think I'm going to do uh, probably two minutes down. So I'm going to let these stay cook. Uh, I think it's kind of, well, kind of flip one of these big boys now. So uh, I'm not getting the crust I want, so I want to go ahead and leave that in here. We're looking for crust, guys. All right, guys, so what I want to do is add some fresh garlic in mine. See that garlic added? And I got a fresh garlic added, so I'm going to go and just start uh, putting the uh, oil over my steak. Get a nice little, get that nice garlic over my steak. This thing right here, I'm 123. This thing's coming off right here. This thing right here is 100 and. Oh, that got a little while to cook. That got a little while to cook. 103. One point seven. more bacon for the garlic. And I'm gonna take that garlic out. Alright guys like I said we want to get all sides uh Starting to get that nice color to it. We're not overcooking our steak, we're just making sure everything gets nice color. Like Cut my heat down some, and I think uh, I'm gonna take these out and rest. So, just in case you may think these steaks are overcooked, I just want to check this right here. All right, go now, like butter. So, right now, we're at a hundred and I said a hundred and ten. So, actually, I cook the steak a little longer. Go ahead and cut it down just a little bit. Reduce my heat. All right, guys, that's what I'm doing. All right, now, so the frying pan is super hot. And what I like doing is, we're gonna put our mushrooms in, okay? Now, mushroom is gonna soak up all that steak flavor, okay? Yeah, that's no black pepper for the whole dish. 
We don't want to be hitting on the black pepper. So we add a bunch of stuff to this. Not a bunch, but it's gonna be simple. Let the mushroom cook down. Y'all will be thanking me for this recipe if you try. Mm. This is gonna be our salt, guys. Wanna add some capers. And I'll give us a brine. Uh, I just added a, a, a big old head of capers. So, uh, yeah, capers, guys. You want to get capers stirred in? All right. And while the capers cooking, you want the garlic we had in the pan. You want to add that to it, okay? Crumb that up a little bit. Then that we want to add uh, some fresh uh, chopped garlic. And we just want to mix that up, okay? So you got your capers. The capers got a little salty brine to it. So now you want to add your dried rosemary. Yes. And then you want to add your thyme, okay? And your thing, you want to make sure everything is um, put in here. And this caper is not as salty as the other caper, so I may add a dash of salt, a pinch of salt to my capers. I'm gonna add some heavy cream to this, guys, okay? Probably two to three cups of heavy cream. And we want it to reduce, okay? So, yep, yeah, two or three cups. You wanna whisk everything together, guys? And you wanna let this reduce by at least half. So, you got your rosemary, your thyme, your, your heavy cream. And you just want to let it reduce, guys, okay? And everything going to get so yummy. And this is what we're going to go on top of the steak with, all right? So let's, let's get the, uh, we'll get this knocked out, okay? So I'm going to let this reduce, and uh, I'm going to keep stirring, guys. So when this reduce, we'll be ready to plate things up. Like I'm cooking a little hot because I'm, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to eat, guys. So, uh, yeah, this can reduce pretty good, guys, okay? And basically, what you want to see, you get a spoon and you do it done. And if that drips off the spoon like such, that's, that's the way you want it. You want it where, you see, that's the way you want it, off that spoon, okay? Just like that, all right? All right, now so we're gonna we're gonna move these steaks to the side and we're gonna see what they look at, what they're working with, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut both um, strings. I want to eat strings, okay? Actually, I'm gonna cut this right through the strings, okay? And show you how we looking. And I'm gonna pull these strings out on the knot. So you can see that nice color right there. That's what we're looking at, guys, okay? So that's nice. Uh, medium. Uh, I think uh, medium steak right there. So let's look at, see how these, the, um, those two are medium. Let's check the small ones, okay? And my kids like their steaks done a little more than mine, so. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. I tell you what, we did an awesome job today, guys. And the key thing is let these steaks rest. 
they didn't rest, they wouldn't look this beautiful, guys. They look, they, they're, they're looking gorgeous, man. The steaks are looking gorgeous. All right, let me cut one of these uh, horns right here, okay? Oh my goodness, that cut even better. And I'm just taking these off as we cut them. My goodness, that came off. Okay, y'all get the point, guys. Them are nice looking steaks, so we're gonna plate up our plates, and we're gonna bring you in when we're done plating up our plates. Okay, and show you what we looking like. All right, guys. So this is what we got. We got green beans. We got our baked potato with butter. And we got a steak, a filet mignon, with our caper gravy with mushrooms. So, um, so yeah, that's what we got. So I'm about to go ahead and bring y'all for a taste. All right, guys. So we had the end of this cook. I'm pretty happy, man. So I'm going ahead and uh, try the steak, guys. Okay, that's what I'm gonna try. Oh my god, it cook. It cuts like butter. This is delicious. Tender, moist, juicy. Mmm. And I crushed. This video was inspired by my homeboy, No Hippie Barbecue. Go to iCard, up there, subscribe, comment, tell him TNT sent you. Hey, he's doing trucking videos, but it's still a cook. That's what this uh, recipe was inspired by. I'm a. Uh, I just want to say God bless you and God bless America. I can eat. Love y'all guys. TNT. Peace.